All right, this is minor scale lesson number two. What we're going to be doing today is we're going to be harmonizing the minor scale, much like we did with the major scales uh, in the major scale lesson series. Uh, if you haven't done minor scale lesson number one, or if you haven't gone through the cage system lesson primer and the major scale lessons, you probably want to do that stuff first. You can find that on my YouTube channel um, or premiereguitarlessons.com or blog dot markween dot com. The most recent stuff will be on the blog. B L O G dot M A R K W E I N dot com. C O M. All right, so we're going to be doing this in the G minor pattern four that we've been doing everything in. Uh, just a little review on the minor scale here. So that's the pattern of four minor scale. Off of the first note, or what we're going to have for a one chord in a minor key, uh, we're going to get a minor triad. G, B flat, D. Off of the second chord, or the two chord, we are going to have a diminished triad, which would be A, C, E flat. Off of the third note, the three chord is actually major, which is B flat, D, F. The four chord is minor, which is C, E flat, G. The five chord is also minor, which will be B, uh, D, F, A. The six chord is major, E flat, G, B flat, and then the seven chord here in the key of G uh, is going to be major, F, A, C. So, unlike the major scale, in the minor scale, the one chord, the four chord, and the five chord are minor. The three chord, the sixth, and the seventh chords are all going to be major, and then the two chord is going to be a diminished triad. Now, one thing that you might run into in a major key is the idea, or in a minor key, is the idea that uh, typically, uh, the five chord is what we call a cadential chord. It, it's a chord that wants to resolve back to the one. If we're playing G major and I play a, a, D, a D7, it's going to want to resolve back to the one chord. In a minor key, if we're playing G minor, both the one chord and the five chord are minor. That's a very weak sound. So, in a lot of music, especially a lot of Baroque or classical music onward, uh, we're going to take the five chord and instead of making it a minor chord, we're actually going to raise the third, what we call the leading tone, and give ourselves a dominant or a major five chord, and then that's going to give us more of a, a solid uh, five chord to one chord cadence, or a feeling of resolution. Uh, what this actually gives us is something called the harmonic minor scale. And we're going to do some lessons on this later because there's a lot of applications for it. Um, but you, you'll see this a lot, like even in pop music, a lot of the stuff that I write ends up having, if it's a minor key, I end up liking to use that chord just because I like the real solid resolution to it. Uh, so the scale for that is basically this minor scale, G minor, but we're going to take the seventh note and we're going to raise it up one. So we end up having that sort of deal, and that, that gives us the, the major, or our dominant 5 chord, and then we're still in G minor. 